already know this is Pons John Box, aka Mr. Moo, who shined himself. Ladies and gentlemen, in the undercard of the Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, we're going to have a bout, a uh, very important bout that a lot of people may, might, may not be aware of, may not be talking about, but is the is a title fight between Abdul Kakarov versus Sergey Lipinyak. For the IBF welterweight interim title. Interim. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you like this. The IBF interim belt is rarely used. Rarely, rarely um, um, on the line. The IBF interim. Rarely. Probably you could think about like let's say like five like like three times in the in the past decade or something that belt been used or two it rarely be used. And what does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? That Errol Spence next fight is the winner of Abdul Kakarov, and I'm hopefully I'm saying his, his name right. Excuse me if I'm not. Abdul Kakarov versus Sergey Lipinet. The winner of that fight will fight Errol Spence in this when, when he comes back. You already know the IBF is very strict when it comes to mandatory. And for the people, I've been debating so much time in my channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Let me get that thing out of the way. I was debating with people since the, since the early summer. Since before the summer. People say, oh, Errol Spence is going to fight Bud Crawford next. Errol Spence is going to fight Manny Pacquiao next. Even after the Manny Pacquiao with Keith Thurman fight, oh, that's going to be his next fight. Oh, 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 And all I was saying, yo, his next fight after the Sean Porter fight is going to be a mandatory. It's not going to be none of those fights. Oh, what are you talking about? Who is this guy you're mentioning? Goes, Abdul Kukarov because he was, he was um, he, I think he, was, he signed with Frank Warren. Because the mandatory, the mandatory for the IBF is up. They needed to make a decision. If you know your sport of boxing, sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta look. You gotta look into your sport, the sport that you love. I understand that a lot of people only like to follow boxing when you know it, the, the the contract is signed, or it's like a, a week before the fight, or even the day of the fight. Um, so that's why a lot of people, when I was debating about in my in my in, in my channel, or when I go live. They couldn't understand what I was trying to say because the IBF mandatory was up. So, but it also tells you that Errol Spence is coming, is, is, is going to be back no time soon. No time soon. The only way that the IBF and the, and, and the interim comes to play is if somebody is, is really injured, really injured, and the IBF don't play. As soon as that man comes... He's gonna he's gonna fight that interim that that interim um title holder. They don't play the IBF just don't, doesn't have an interim title holder and let that guy just fight and nah 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 nah. It's it's a short thing. It's a short thing. It's boom. It's not like when uh, uh, um let's say for example Keith Thurman was a WBA interim and he made like five defenses. Nah, they don't play like that. They don't play like that. The IBF is used for one reason and one reason only. That's if a dude is injured. And, and as soon as that guy comes off of injury, he has to fight that interim world title. Titleist. So, you already know who's Errol Spence's next opponent is going to be the winner of... Um, um, I can't even pronounce the name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, let's call him Abdu. Abdu, because the, the rest is too much. It's gonna be the winner of Abdu and Sergey Lipinyet. Um, so if we want to play Miss Cleo and you know tell the future, then I could say it's safe that a Book Crawford and an Errol Spence fight late 2020 is highly possible, more than highly possible. I'm telling you right now, that's gonna be a fight in late 2020. If everything goes right and, uh, uh, and Errol Spence is going to injure or cut bad or things of that nature, it's going to be late 2020. Buck Crawford, Errol Spence, probably in October, November, around that, that, that timeline. But as of now, <clears throat> sorry, as of, as, of, as of, you know, what we're looking at right now, Errol Spence is going to be fighting the winner of, of the two gentlemen that I just mentioned. 
Um, so stay tuned, you know. Um, I I've been saying that for a while. If you follow the channel, I ain't trying to sound like you know, I'm just saying, I've been saying. Ain't gonna be no Buck Crawford neck, ain't gonna be no no Keith, ain't gonna be no Manny Pacquiao, it's none of that. None of that. Anyway, uh, let me know what y'all gonna think. Today's gonna be the um already the, the the first press conference with Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Can't wait to see that. It's gonna be a bonds and burn. It's gonna be what? I think they're gonna do it in Los uh, on Los Angeles. Is it Los Angeles Los, Los Angeles today? And it's probably tomorrow is gonna be New York. I don't know. But it's gonna be a good week. Live week, stay tuned. Um, on to the next.